And greetings YouTube gamers, welcome to another episode of Retro Raider. My name is Johnny Retro and welcome back to the channel. So here's the thing guys, like I've mentioned on a previous video, I've been working on some music lately and uh, that's right, I want to bring music content again here to the Retro Raider show. However, I'm kinda rusty, it will take some time but it will happen for sure. And it has been a while since I did a top 10 video, so I thought about making this one, I think that this is the perfect time to share with you guys my top 10 video game soundtracks. However guys, before we jump into the video, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Oh, and just one last thing, I'm not saying that this is the ultimate top 10 video game soundtrack, okay guys? This is just my personal list based on my personal tastes and also personal memories. So without further ado, let's do this. This is my top 10 video game soundtracks right after this. Okay, the first one, and with no particular order, let's start with this big bad boy right here, Octopath Traveler. Not only one of my favorite Switch games of all time, not only one of my favorite video games of all time, to be fair, but also one of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. The mastermind behind this amazing score is Yasunori Nishiki. And what is so special about this soundtrack? Well, this is an RPG, a very immersive, RPG, even though it is 16-bit based. And just like in any video game, but especially on an RPG, you know, music is very important to, to set the ambience. And the soundtrack of Octopath Travel has, has it all. It has some amazing melodic tunes. Some are very emotional, uh, some are more fast-paced. It has orchestral elements, uh, folk elements, and also a little bit of rock and roll, I must say. Overall, it's just very melodic. Uh, a little bit progressive but catchy at the same time. And as you can see right here, this is the Companion Edition released in PAL regions. Unfortunately, this one doesn't bring the soundtrack, the CD soundtrack like the Wayfarers. But beggars can be choosers and I mean, this is a terrific game and it has an amazing soundtrack. So Octopath Traveler, number one. Now this next one, and this is going to be a little bit of a cliche I know, because a lot of people consider this to be one of the best, if not the best soundtrack of all time, at least on a PC game. And yeah, I'm talking about the original Diablo. Everybody knows this game, everybody knows Diablo, arguably the best dungeon crawler of all time. But we're not talking about the game, we are talking about the soundtrack. And the soundtrack of this game, it truly is a masterpiece. <laughs> The moment you start the game in Tristram Town and you hear those first chords from the guitar strings, you know that this game is going to be special and that soundtrack is going to be very atmospheric. I mean, the whole soundtrack is amazing, but that specific tune from the town is just incredible. It is very, very atmospheric. It is dark and beautiful at the same time, almost a little bit macabre, but uh. It just sets the tone for what is coming with this game. I never learned how to play that song on the guitar, but uh, as soon as I do, I, I will make a cover of it. But truth is, is that I'm not very good at, you know, fingerstyle guitar, but uh, yeah, this is, this is an amazing song, an amazing soundtrack, so uh, yeah, number two, Diablo, the Diablo OST. Now we are following a trend here, a lot of RPGs, that's right, and uh, this next one also needs no introduction, and I'm talking about Chrono Trigger. Everybody knows Chrono Trigger, everybody with a Super Nintendo or a Super Famicom loves Chrono Trigger, the game is amazing and the soundtrack is amazing also. And I mean, the sound of the SNES is, is iconic, and uh, even though I didn't grow up with the Super Nintendo, I must admit that, you know, it's, it's very charming and... Uh, very characteristic and I just love 16-bit music and I love ambience music for old JRPGs and Chrono Trigger is without a doubt my favorite and the composer is the one and only Abu Wematsu I'm not saying that it is its best work but uh it is a masterpiece for sure and uh one of his best works I would say that and if you like this original soundtrack and if you like orchestral music 
just search for Chrono Trigger Orchestra on YouTube and uh, you will see the whole score played with a full orchestra. And it's beautiful, it's amazing, it's epic. Uh, it has guitar elements, which I love, of course. And this is one of those soundtracks because here at home, I mean, me and my girlfriend, we are listening to music all the time. And she's not a huge fan of these, you know, old cheap tunes, but uh, I am. So when I'm doing my chores alone or cooking or something like that, I listen to, to these type of soundtracks all the time. And uh, Chrono Trigger is definitely one of the most heard ones here in my home. So yeah, number three, the Chrono Trigger soundtrack. Next one, this is a game that I've played on the PS4. It was one of the very first games that I got for the system because I didn't got the PS4 uh, when it was released. And I'm talking about the one and only Journey. My girlfriend gave me this game for Christmas and I mean Journey is... Not only an amazing game, a very special game, very unique, but the soundtrack is my favorite part in the whole game. As a matter of fact, this game Journey did get an award for its soundtrack. It was composed by Austin Wintry, and uh, yeah, it is just very beautiful, very, very emotional. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not easy to, you know, to cry, but uh, when it gets me, it really gets me, you know, no matter if it is, you know, a video game or a story, a movie, but... Uh, Sometimes certain melodies It really gets me and the main theme from journey. It, it is just one of the most amazing Beautiful melodies that that I've ever heard and the background theme of my ps4. It's actually journey So uh, yeah, I listen to this to this song all the time and no I don't cry every time But uh, the first time that I heard this music it, it really got me. It is just it's it's beautiful So yeah, number four the soundtrack of journey Now we're getting into the middle here, and uh, number five, this is pure based on nostalgia. A lot of kids that grew up with Nintendo grew up listening to the Super Mario theme. And uh, a lot of kids that grew up with Sega, without a doubt, grew up listening to Sonic the Hedgehog theme. And uh, both of those themes are iconic. Me, on the other hand, I grew up with the PS1. So uh, Crash Bandicoot was my mascot. This is my favorite Crash Bandicoot game. And it is also my favorite Crash Medicoot soundtrack. Again, this is just based on pure nostalgia. And uh, yeah, it is Crash Medicoot Warped. And as you guys know, if you played this game, Crash goes on a little bit of a time-traveling experience here. A uh, time-traveling adventure, sorry. And uh, the cool thing about this soundtrack is that the theme changes a lot based on the time period of each level. And yes, the original PlayStation, it is not known for its amazing soundtracks, but again, this is very nostalgic for me. I love this game. I love the soundtrack. So number five, Crash Bandicoot Warped. Speaking about PS1, this next one is the one and only Tekken 2. My favorite fighting franchise of all time, and uh, Tekken 2 is not my favorite, but it's the one that has the best soundtrack for me. For me, best song ever on an opening cinematic is the one on Tekken 2. And you just know that with each Tekken game, you are going to have an amazing, superb soundtrack. But uh, I don't know, Tekken 2, it is... It is just special, and like Crash Bandicoot to me, it is nostalgic at the same time. Nothing much more to say about this one, Tekken 2, number 6. Okay, number 7, and uh, I'm going to say this name, and you guys will know what game this is. The name is Yuzu Koshiro. Of course, Streets of Rage, and uh, I picked Streets of Rage 2. My favorite theme in the franchise is Stage 1 of Streets of Rage 1, but as a whole, and I mean, the whole soundtrack is amazing in, in, in the three games, but the soundtrack of Streets of Rage 2, it is, it is the best. And it is also the best game in the series. And I do have a cover of the Streets of Rage 1 Stage 1 music, and uh, I will leave a link of that video down below if you guys want to check it out. And I think that I already said it all. I mean, Sega, Streets of Rage 2, Yuzu Koshiro, and I truly think that this is his best work. So for the younger crowd in the audience out there, 
if you never heard this amazing soundtrack by Yuzu Koshiro, I mean, just just Google it, just listen to it. It's it's amazing, and it still holds pretty well today. Okay, number eight. This is a weird pick, but uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. Age of Empires 2, The Age of Kings. And here's the reason why I picked this. Uh, a lot of you guys know I used to sing on a heavy metal band called Subliminal Legacy. And without a doubt, you know, rock music and heavy metal is, is my safe zone when it comes to music. But my first band, and this was when I was 15 years old, I think, I used to play... In a, in a band which was a mix of medieval and Celtic music, if you will. And yeah, I'm just a huge fan, you know, everything related to uh, Renaissance music, uh, medieval music, Celtic music, you know, that type of folk. And the soundtrack of Age of Empires 2, not only it is a great game, of course, but this soundtrack, it is, it is paradise, if you like this genre of music. It just sets the tone for this game perfectly. You know that you are playing a medieval game. I played this game a lot on PC. I had a pirate version and uh, I also had this original version uh, for the PS2. I also got the 4K remasters on Steam. Uh, the soundtrack was also remastered, but uh, it is good. But for me, the original one, it is, it is the original one. It is the best. So for that reason, number eight, Age of Empires 2. Number 9, and uh, you guys know Kingdom Hearts is my favorite video game of all time, my favorite franchise of all time, you guys know that. And of course that, I had to pick a game with an OST from that franchise, and uh, I've picked Kingdom Hearts 2. Even though it is not my favorite Kingdom Hearts game, but uh, a lot of fans consider this one to be the best, but to me it has the most amazing and memorable soundtrack. And one thing that is important in any Kingdom Hearts game is its main theme. And the main theme of Kingdom Hearts 2, Sanctuary, is, it is without a doubt my favorite. It has this trip pop vibe to it, very electronic with some acoustic elements in the middle, and the beautiful voice of Hutara Hikaru. And yes, I got emotional when I first heard this song, but I was a teenager at the time. That just makes it even more lame, but it is true. The melody, the voice, the lyrics, I mean, this main theme is, it's amazing, and uh, very nostalgic for me, without a doubt. And what is left for me to say, you guys know me, it's Kingdom Hearts. And uh, yeah, this is um, a very important franchise for me. I never make a video on it. I never made a video entirely dedicated to my favorite video game of all time. And uh, that is going to be a very hard one for me to make, to be honest with you guys. I played these games in a very weird and dark place of my life. And uh, yeah, it is hard to remember, and it's hard to, to talk about it, it is very personal. But yeah, on today's video we were talking about soundtracks, and uh, of course that I had to pick a soundtrack from a Kingdom Hearts game. So yeah, Kingdom Hearts 2, without a doubt, my favorite in the series. Last but not least, and I'm going to be controversial here, but I don't care. It's a Final Fantasy game, and uh... Is it my favorite Final Fantasy game? Well, no. Is it my favorite Final Fantasy soundtrack? It is. But here is the big question. Is this my favorite video game soundtrack of all time? Well, even though I'm having, you know, different different favorites all the time, so this was a very, very top 10 list for me to make. But uh, I have to say that this one is indeed my favorite soundtrack on a video game. And I'm talking about Final Fantasy X. And yeah, like in Chrono Trigger, the mastermind Nobuo Uematsu. And I think that this is his best work. This is his ultimate masterpiece. Nobuo Uematsu had a collaboration with Masashi Haimazu and Junya Nakamu. And it is true that Final Fantasy X sometimes gets a bad rap. Um, you know, a lot of fans of Final Fantasy don't like this game, but I think that the reason it's because, you know, this game was, was very big, was very important because it was the first Final Fantasy X, you know, on a brand new system, back in the day, you know, the PS2. It was the first one with voice acting, and yes, the voice acting didn't age very well. For me, I love the game, I love the story, 
and I think that the soundtrack is it is just one of the most beautiful things that I've ever heard. Favorite songs of the soundtrack? Well, first of all, Otherworld, which is this raw heavy metal track. Song of Prayer, and uh, Song of Prayer is a very special one because if you guys played Final Fantasy X, you know that there's a big religious component to this game. And I mean, Song of Prayer, it is... It is, it is magical, it is, it is beautiful. It really feels like a prayer, and uh, I almost feels like I can get into, you know, a state of trance, if you will, when I'm listening to it. And it's simple, it is catchy, uh, it does the job, and uh, it blends really well with the theme of Final Fantasy X. But my favorite track, of course, is the Xanarkin theme. This is the main theme of Final Fantasy X, and uh, what can I say, I mean, just just listen to it, and uh, if you guys played this game, you know that it is very iconic. I don't play piano very well, but uh, I love piano, and uh, this melody, it is one of the most beautiful things that I've ever heard in my entire life. It's a, a perfect piano piece for me. I know how to play keyboards because I mess around with synthesizers a lot, but uh, yeah, on piano, I kind of suck on a real piano. If you are a piano player, please let me know down below and let me know if you know how to play this on an original piano because me, I, I, I just don't know how. So yeah, I think that we ended up big with this one, Final Fantasy X. Yeah, without a doubt, my favorite video game soundtrack of all time. And there you go guys, this was my top 10 of video game soundtracks and please let me know down below uh, what do you think about my top 10. And please feel free to share yours, let me know down below what are your favorite soundtracks on a video game. As always, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to put a like on this video, please subscribe to the channel and take care of yourselves, take care of the gaming community and game a lot.